Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then this channel is all about me documenting my process when it comes to doing graphic design for branding projects. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be continuing on with uh, a brand that I was working on in last week's video called Talavelas. Um, it is a it's a candle company that makes their candles from coconut oil and other organic material to, to create a bit more of an eco-friendly product. Um, so last week I worked on the brand pattern and at the end of the video I mentioned that today I was going to work on a gift bag and perhaps the box packaging. But then I thought about it a little bit more and I thought, well, everybody does a box package for a candle so why don't I do something different and create this little cloth drawstring bag for the candle instead and so I'll be working on the paper bag that little cloth drawstring bag and then if I have time or if I can then I would like to work on a cloth tote bag um, as an option to give to people who spend a little bit more money with them or that simply just want to purchase a reusable bag from them so um, I haven't really pre-planned any of this stuff, but uh, let's see what I can come up with. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just pull in some images onto my artboard. Um, some Pinterest ones. I had saved some kind of inspiration images earlier on just so that I would have something to work with. Or at least just remind me of the type of look that I was kind of going for. So I'm just going to pull all of those in. And then I'll sort them between my... I actually created different Illustrator documents um, for the different types or the different bags that I'm going to be working on. Um, I don't know if it's necessary. It's just I thought because all the artboards were going to be different sizes and stuff like that. I said, oh, well, I'll just put them all in their own little document. For this paper bag, I was actually kind of wondering, there are actually two kind of approaches that I can take with it, and I don't really know which one. I might do kind of one of each, um, and just see how it goes, but um, the first option is to basically just create a a design like this one that I'm kind of moving around here where it fills up the whole the whole surface of the paper bag um, and it would be something that gets printed directly on the bag and then the other option is to do something like this 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 bag here in the top corner where it's just basically a a rectangle label on the top of it and so I might do one of each because I do think that, I mean, this company, you know, I mean, it's, it is a, it's a fictional company, but in, in my mind, it's the type of company that kind of wants to save up, uh, save a little bit of money, you know, in terms of what they spend on this whole branding process, right? You know, they don't, so they don't exactly have the biggest budget, I would say, to do all of these fancy things. And so I kind of want to keep that in mind in terms of um, just what I'm choosing to do in terms of the amount of colors and um, what gets printed versus what gets, um, di I mean, directly on the package versus what can they, what can they print and then reuse on other items as well. So, um 
so yeah so that that's kind of what I wanted to keep in mind so that's why I kind of saved this idea because I'm like well maybe this is an option because then it just means like printing off a bunch of of sticker labels and as opposed to maybe getting one of these entire bag designs which which could cost a little bit more um, to have printed so and so I'm just gonna copy and paste all of these inspirations onto the last tote bag because they're probably gonna be pretty similar anyways maybe not the sticker one but some of the, these other kind of concepts that I saved would kind of apply to the tote bag as well. All right, so what to start with first? I think I'm gonna start with the paper bag just to see how it goes. So I'm in that file here. Now this, this artboard that I created is actually um, the dimensions that I wrote down from the, the mock-up that I was using just as a, as a guideline. And so basically this entire artboard area would be that entire front surface area. I mean, the mock-up doesn't have these handles on the outside. I don't know if you can see here. It doesn't have any of these handles on the outside so I'm just gonna kind of pretend that I mean you know that I'm using the mock-up version which has the handles attached to the inside of the bag so I think I will do one where it's covering the entire surface and then maybe just do another one that is just um, just the kind of that vertical label maybe I'm gonna go pull in my pattern that I created from the last video. And I'm just gonna start experimenting to see what I can come up with. I like the idea of this kind of paper bag here that had the pattern in the background with this kind of a shape and because that shape is kind of similar to the one that I use in the icon mark for this logo I thought oh well let's see how that looks for this so that is what I'm doing on this version.
I'm thinking about doing something similar to this this kind of bottom bag here where it has just a few of the bigger tiles in it. So I'm just going to go back to my original pattern one and just pull out some of my my favorite tile designs here and see how they they work out. gonna go into this outline mode just to see these the outline of the tiles a little bit better so I can line them up Gonna have to overlook the, the fact that the pattern is still in only black and but whatever I'm just trying to get the the design idea out there for now I think I may also want to put a row of it at the top looking at it so what I would like to do is just kind of take one of these rows or some different ones and just put it on the top here just to give it a bit more of a frame, I guess. All right, I'm liking this a little bit better as a, as a bag design, but I just need to go back in and just recolor it so <laughs> it's a little bit more uniform, but I do like that version a little bit better than this pattern one but for the label I actually actually kind of like this this idea with the pattern behind it so I'll just keep that one the way it is and so I think I'll just move on to this little drawstring bag which isn't gonna be overly complicated As you can see for like these these um, inspiration pieces um, there's not a whole lot going on with the bag um, that first one by the Brooklyn candle studio just has the just has the logo on it almost like a stamped logo effect this one it's kind of hard to say because the, the label is covering it up but it looks like they have something similar going on where it is just the uh, just the logo on the bag. Yeah, I think it's the same. I don't know if it's the same company, I can't remember, but it might be the same company. So it looks like it's just the logo on the bag. And then they've also got this kind of a, a cloth, it looks like a cloth tag, but it could be a paper one as well, which, which could be an idea as well to add to this, um, add to this kind of a, a packaging design. I mean, it's a good way to show what the different flavors are. So I can work with that thing there. So this isn't going to take too long. If it's just going to be the logo, then I will just keep it simple and maybe work on that that tag a little bit later
Okay, I'm gonna stick with that as my design for this this drawstring bag. I think it's pretty. I think it's kind of meant to be a little bit simple, uh, almost like um, just keeping in mind a stamp effect, which is very is very doable. It could be a great option and a great way to reuse um, that stamp. Or I guess the stamp could be reused in a lot of other instances. And then the tote bag here, which could be actually be similar to this gift bag. You know, with a tote bag, there is no need to make it super different from the gift bag. It's just uh, one is gonna be reusable, the other one not so much. Now I'm thinking this one might just look better without that top border on it. I'm liking a little bit better but now I'm thinking I just have to resize this slightly because it's looking a little bit odd to me oh yeah I'm looking a lot better so now I'm just gonna go in and um, just fix the coloring on this this pattern that I copied from from that other file that's just in black and white and I am just going to um, change it so that it's all that um, the blue the brand color for Televelas and then I will just kind of put up maybe the mock-ups at the very end of this video so that you can see what it looks like but let me just go ahead and recolor everything
All right, so that is it in terms of the bag designs. I I am done recoloring all of these tiles and getting rid of that, getting rid of some of that that white space that was showing up in some of the tile patterns. Um, but basically, what I ended up with was just the the blue color for the bag. I have the paper bag, I should say. I have the fully printed one and then just a sticker version to add on top of that paper bag. The drawstring bag for the actual candle packaging was pretty simple. It was just the logo going on that, going on the cloth bag, almost as if it would be um, from a, a stamped uh, cotton bag. And then the last one, the tote bag, was just a modification of the first paper bag and I still kept in that yellow color because I did like how it looked on that um, the white color of the bag and that is it so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I will just put up a few images at the end just to show what I came up with and how they look on the actual mock-ups um, for this drawstring bag uh, the label obviously is something that I would like to do. I do think it's a good idea so that you can see from the outside what the scent is. So I'll just work on that, but you'll probably just see that in the actual Behance portfolio project that I put together. But I guess we will see you in the next video. The next video will be a brand new uh, branding project. I don't yet know what it is, but I do know it's going to be something completely new. So. I will see you next time. Have a great day.